Welcome to Innovation Dialogue. I'm Diana Ding. My voice. My story. My dream. Innovation Dialogue. We are encouraged by their story. Welcome to our show. I'm Diana Ding, and today we are uh, so honored to invite David Chen to our show. And he's the chairman of Heister, and he's also a co-founder and a vice uh, chairman and president of Vance Info. And uh, we're going to talk about Heister. This mm -hmm. organization is called the tech bridge between Silicon Valley and China. Why is that? Um, Heister was funded in 1999. And then the, since the beginning, the mission was around the three areas. One is the entrepreneurship. We try to foster the, the next generation uh, entrepreneurs to rise up and create impact to the society. The second one is um, how to uh, create the next generation leaders. The third one is a uh, sign US collaborations. And one of the flagship events we host um, in 2005, mm -hmm. um, Right after the annual conference, uh, we facilitated a communication between Alibaba and Yahoo, and eventually they struck a $1 billion deal. And then that created the, the huge impact to the e-commerce space in China. Mm, that, that was also a mile, milestone for that, these two companies and also the you know, big event in Silicon Valley. That's right. Mm. Yes. Actually, David is the co-founder and the former vice chairman and president of Vance Info. Vance Info went public in 2007 and NASDAQ. And before that, David held multiple management and tech, uh, technical positions at many companies like IBM, Acera, and KPMG, Oracle, and the UCSF Medical Center. So uh, when did you start to get involved in Heister? And what have uh, drawn you to this organization? Um, actually, I was one of the early members of Heister. Um, and then when, when I was a, just a junior um, um, people at the, um, those uh, large corporations, um, I always wondering what I can do uh, in terms of advance my career or where I, I need to pursue entrepreneurial uh, track. So I attended quite a few uh, events in the early days of Heista. Mm -hmm. And I got connected with uh, several uh, people. Um, some of them become very successful. Uh, one of my good friends, Matt Wong, became the senior VP at IBM at one time. Uh, he's not the uh, president of Cybernet Cyber, uh, Capital. And uh, I also have other friends, they eventually, they also caught entrepreneurial bug and moved back to China to start up their own companies. Mm -hmm. So I think that really inspired me. And then that's why in 2001, I decided to move back to China to do my own uh, business. Mm -hmm. So and, I Oh, yeah, yes, I haven't finished. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> so so I, w I stayed in China between 2001 and 2000. Uh, and then that, that was incredible right because um, we grew from a very tiny company we raised money from uh, Sand Hill um, Road uh, including firms like Sequoia Capital and DCM and eventually we took company public in 2007 mm -hmm. and continued to run company for another a few years a few more years and then I stepped down and moved back to the US and then since I, we were in the outsourcing business so I when I moved back to the US I was more associated with the uh, Indian uh, a non-profit organization called Thai. Mm. But um, eventually, my board member, uh, my former investor, DCM, uh, David Chow, he asked me to, to join Heistar. Mm. Uh, so that bring back me back to uh, the Chinese community. Mm. You, you, you mentioned about David Chow, and this, there are so many other board members. They are very successful uh, entrepreneurs and enterprises, and some of them are investors, right? Uh, just give us an example of who are they. So for High Star Board, actually, we try to strike the balance between uh, different type of people, even though they're all very successful. Um, but uh, we purposely select people from VC communities, um, people with the investment background. We also uh, select people with the, uh, with the entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneurial background. So people like uh, HP Jing, um, Yun Weijie, those are the people that have done uh, a startup before. And then to a certain degree, they have all have a pretty successful exit. And then we also have a, quite a few people that are coming from the professional 
and also corporate background. People like Lily Zhen, she's the senior leader at the Deloitte, and then the former um, uh, president, Qi Lu, he was the EVP, former EVP of Microsoft. Mm. Uh, what's special about this organization? Why there are so many top successful people gathered in this organization, and uh, what's the goal for Highstar? I think since the beginning, we always have the spirit that people, even though they are successful in these days, but uh, they like to see next generation entrepreneurs, next generation leaders, they can emerge uh, from, from, the, uh, from the society so that, I mean, as, as the other people in Silicon Valley, we always want to create impact, right? So that's why people have a very strong giving back spirit. Um, they're willing to participate, um, give their time and money and uh, effort uh, so that they can, they can give back to the society. Mm, you're talking about giving back. So as a president of Heister this year, uh, what would you like to give back to the community? So I, I think um, at one time I was pretty reluctant to be, a, to be the chairman, the current chairman, because as a board member, actually, um, probably. Reluctant, why? Because uh, it still needs to spend a lot of time and effort. Um, mm -hmm. What and changed your mind? So a friend of mine, he told me, um, you have time, because right now I'm no longer running the, the company, right? Mm -hmm. So I, have, I do have some time. And then you have big heart, means uh, you like to help people. So mm -hmm. you are the pretty perfect candidate. So to a certain degree, I agree. Uh, and th there are other board members, they are pretty good at convincing me that uh, I'm the right candidate. So eventually, I, I decided to take the helm as the current chairman. Mm, but I, I see that you treat this seriously. So what do you see the future of Heister in the next uh, five years? Yeah, that's why I, I, I think um, initially I thought probably I just need to spend 15% of my time. But uh, mm. it ended up that I spent uh, almost 30% of, of my time actually on Heister. Cause, um, um, only 30%? <laughs> I thought This is still non, uh, okay. non-profit and then yeah. this is still part-time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But your 30 time, but 30, 30 percent is really, you know, yeah. Yeah. The result is really huge. Yeah, because mm -hmm. um, we successfully um, combined with another great team, a uh, mm -hmm. very talented team with uh, about seven or eight people. Mm -hmm. um, they are very energetic. They are the real people actually doing the real work. Um, we are pretty much, as the older generation people, uh, we pretty much uh, give them resources and guide guidance, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, so I think this year, for this year, because we, we signed the deal on January 1st, 2017. So mm -hmm. it's a very new thing. Um, even though I spent a lot of time trying to uh, conclude the deal, but uh, it take, takes a lot of effort to do that uh, beyond my expectation. Um, but starting from this year, um, since we, the deal is closed, um, mm -hmm. so we already revived a lot of activities. Uh, we have four clubs, uh, like very similar to the traditional high star clubs, uh, VC club, Entrepreneurship uh, Club, Leadership Club, and Talent Club. We also have uh, multiple programs. We have one program dedicated to the women leadership. We have the uh, program dedicated to the special interest group around the hot topic like precision medicine or artificial intelligence. And we have another topic about the leadership. I mean, how to, how to groom the next generation leaders. Uh, we also try to be more, very successful like uh, Indian um, um, professionals. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are also going to have the brand new annual conference. Uh, hopefully, we'll, the, the, the date will be firm up very soon. Uh, so lots of activities. And then we try to be uh, as a very open platform. So we like to collaborate with any uh, other organizations. If they are good at something, we, we don't need to repeat the effort. We just integrate mm -hmm. and collaborate together. If someone wants to join Heister, and uh, what's the qualification you require? I think we believe in the full potential of human beings. So I think anyone with the passion, with the dedication, they're all welcome to join. And then um, you can sign up through the website or email or a WeChat account. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned about the we are older generations, mm. <laughs> but actually you are pretty young. <laughs> so regarding you guys are more experienced uh, compared with the younger generation, next mm. generation of entrepreneurs. And mm -hmm. What's your hope for the next generation entrepreneurs? What's your expectation? I think um, I think every 
age, they have the different challenges or different opportunities. And I think probably for younger generation, they they living a much better uh, age than me. Um, even though some people they said you guys uh, have gone, have witnessed the, the the big impact of the tech, right? Because mm -hmm. 20 years ago, tech was not that significant compared to today. But the tech will be much more impactful across the whole industry, across the whole na um, nations in the coming years. And then um, my theory is that there are two, um, com what is called a gravitational wave. One is the US economy and Chinese economy called the G2, right? And then the other gravitational wave is the traditional business, the traditional industry like financial services, healthcare, et cetera. They all need to be combined with the digital transformation effort empowered by uh, data technologies, including big data, in artificial intelligence, and then many industries will be shaken up and then to the bone, actually. And then they are, you're going to see totally different industries in the next four, five to year, 10 years. So that means a lot of things. That means a lot of uh, shakeups. And then I think for younger generation leaders or entrepreneurs, they are going to enjoy a lot of uh, wonderful ride in the next few years. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, older generation people like me, I mean, we can also participate and by helping them in, mm -hmm. in, in, in different ways. Those uh, still young and ener energetic, so-called older generations, <laughs> and that's uh, the board member and some of the you know, members of Heister, and they are dedicated in helping the younger generation or all the entrepreneurs uh, who want to persuade their dream and willing to give to the society. So they are the bridge, the tech bridge between Silicon Valley and China. So thanks, David, for coming to our show. Thank you. Together is the age.